Welcome back to another video here on Nash Vlogs. Today is my Chessington Halloween 2020 lineup speculation. If you have not yet seen my video, my uh, Halloween lineup speculation videos on Alton Towers, Scarefest, and Fort Park Fright Nights, then go check them out. They'll probably be in a card somewhere. Somewhere here. I don't know. Maybe that side. Probably that one. No. Fucking hell. Anyway, um,. Just like with them videos, we're basing it off of what was at the park in 2019's event. Um, there's going to be a video coming out in the next few days. It's a weird subject, but it's something I think a lot of people need to start talking about. And it's what will the Halloween events in the UK go ahead this year? And also, if they do go ahead what measures are going to be in place um so yeah let's talk about the mazes that was there in 2019 and then i'll go through each maze one by one and i'll tell you why i think it may or may not come back and what i'd love to see so let's kick straight in with the new maze for last year so the new maze for 2019 was spiders located in wild asia and this replaced Curse of the Lost Tombs. Now, Chesington, uh, just like Alton Towers, they have like a rating of how scary these attractions are. Alton Towers has pumpkins. Um, Fort Park Fight Nights has skulls. And Chesington has bats. Now, Spiders last year was rated 2 out of 3 bats, which is for 8 plus. Do I think it's going to come back this year? 100% because it was actually a really good experience it just there was l these little things that needed to be tweaked uh, what would I like to see changed I think the whole first half nearly all of the attraction I would like to stay the same I think the only bit I would like to see changed is the ending slightly a bit more but because the ending, were, it was just a weird ending. The actual ending scene itself was good. It's just that um, after, you know, the spider pretty much farts and there's smoke and everything, it just felt a bit lacked that it was just like a couple of green flashing lights, you know. It, it, it felt really underwhelming. And I feel like they could slightly extend it a little bit and add maybe like a tiny stroke maze at the end. I don't know. Next, we're going to talk about the other family attraction that was there last year, and that is Trick or Treat Woods. Now, this is located near Room on the Broom, just as you come through. And I've been going to Chessington Halloween since 2018. 2018, if you watch, um, shout out to one of my old vlog stars, uh, Life of Dills, he did a vlog. Uh, well, we did a vlog from Chesington, Halloween in 2018. I said that I wasn't a big fan of Trick or Treat Wood, mainly due to, obviously, bat rating. It's a one hour free, and it's suitable for everyone. And I, I, I've never been a fan of Trick or Treat Wood, mainly due to, I felt that, obviously, because it's for mainly little kids, it weren't, you know, my demographic. I said that it's a good f kids slash family walkthrough, but I feel like Trick or Treat would, you know, it's not, it's not amazing. It's nothing good. Um, last year I didn't do Trick or Treat Woods. I avoided it last year. And when I did want to do it, it had like a 15 minute queue. And when I wanted to do it, we had about five minutes before um, Creepy Caves was about to shut and get ready for Creepy Caves After Dark. So we decided, when I was there last year, I decided to just do Creepy Caves again. I had done it like 10 times that day anyway. I just wanted to get one more non-extreme run through. Um, but yeah, do I think Trick or Treat Wood is going to come back? I think it will come back. It, it's been there now for quite a few years now. Um, obviously, it debuted with um, Curse of the Lost Tombs a few years back. 
and I don't think we're going to be losing Sugar Tree Wood any time soon. And yeah, now on to the maze, or two mazes, shall we say, two mazes in one maze, which I think need to come back and probably will come back. And that, of course, is Creepy Caves Unearthed. Now we're going to talk about Creepy Caves Unearthed first, before we talk about Creepy Caves After Dark. Now, Creepy Caves is a 3 out of 3 bat rating, and it's recommended for 10+. plus. Now, straight off the bat, I've said this every year that I've done Creepy Caves. It's not 10+. plus. It really doesn't feel like a 10+, plus attraction. It needs... I think minimum, it needs to be a 12+, plus minimum. Because 2018... Me and Dylan had some really extreme run-throughs, and last year I had some insanely extreme run-throughs, especially on my own. Um, and that was before the After Dark version as well. What would I like to see changed? If anything, I think, I think, the, it's, there's no way they're going to change that route. Obviously last year they did add a couple of little theming elements and little changes, but I, I can't see Creepy Caves changing that much, maybe a couple of additions, maybe a new finale, again I reckon, if anything, I'd like them to keep the finale that they had last year, it was uh, a lot more intense than the previous ending, obviously with the gate holding you in and the actors literally running around you, and it's insane, obviously Creepy Cave is located in Adventure Point, and it's literally just up the path from uh, Trick or Treat Wood, now, we're going to talk about Creepy Caves After Dark. Hands up, straight down, Creepy Caves After Dark needs to come back this year. It was absolutely brilliant. If Chesington doesn't bring it back, I will be really surprised, especially as it's been nominated at the ScareCon Scare Awards, which I do believe the, uh, the winners are being announced on May 5th, so I'll probably be doing a video if any of my mazes that I liked win and yeah you know like uh, creepy caves after dark shout out to the whole team in there especially james you guys were absolutely insane you know and i think quite a lot of people who were in my group that night it creepy caves after dark was one of the most insane experiences if you haven't seen my review go watch the review of um, Creepy Caves After Dark because it was absolutely fucking mental and if it doesn't come back then you know it's Chesington's choice but I feel like it went down a success for them and I think they will bring it back because everyone wants it back um, let me know your thoughts did you experience Creepy Caves After Dark last year and what did you think about it uh, one final thing I'm going to quickly talk about is the show that's over it, that was at the Gruffalo Arena last year. I got to watch this a few times. It is brilliant. It is one of the best Halloween shows in the UK. Last year you had smoke effects, fire effects, lighting, sparks, everything. And it felt absolutely insane. And I did watch the 2018 one. And compared to 2018... 2019's one was absolutely better. Loads of people would say, oh, it's not as good as um, Terra Amity High. It's just as good. You know, by rate, um, Haunted Halloween Live at Chesington a little bit higher. Just a little bit. Um, do I think it's going to come back? Hands down. It's going to come back and it's going to change again. I reckon. Obviously, uh, the Gruffalo Arena isn't called the Gruffalo Arena anymore. It's called the main stage. The reason they changed the name, and I think a lot of people will agree with me, is probably because of the um, uh, because of the rainforest now being part of that area, you know. And it did feel weird the Gruffalo Arena being in an area not near the Gruffalo Ride, you know. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Do you think everything I've mentioned is going to come back this year, or would you like to see a new maze replace anything? I'll tell you something I'd like to see somewhere in the future is, and I'm going to be doing a video on this 
is what would happen if creepy caves unearthed had its route reversed so you come in where you exit and you come out on the top where you go in um i'll be doing that video hopefully within a week or so so yeah anyway thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video punch that subscribe button in the face and i'll see you lot in the next video stay safe peace out